Hi everyone and welcome back to Art with Ms. Choate. Today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going over some tips and tricks to some comic books. Now I know we've done some lessons in comic book characters and different things like that but today I just want to focus on a few tricks here and there that you can do to add into a comic that you might already be making or maybe you're interested in dabbling and these might help you get started. So go grab some paper and a pencil and let's go over these tricks. The first trick to comic books is changing up your bubbles. So we have different types of bubbles when it comes to comic books. We have the one that everyone knows about and that's the word bubble. So that might be coming from somebody specific. And I'll say, hello. Then we can have a thought bubble. This one's also pretty common. The bubbles get bigger as they get to the thought. And this is kind of like a cloud. Then if we had a box, this would be our narrator. And it might say narrator at the top, or it would just have what the narrator is saying in that box, and then our thing is happening inside. Then we could have different like kind of feelings with our boxes, so maybe an electric box. This might be a spark or maybe like a TV or a phone ring ring. Do phones make that kind of noise anymore? Ring ring. Or we could have something that looks drippy. And that might be coming from somebody or an object. This could be sarcasm. This could be something gross. Or somebody's sick, maybe it's drippy. If we were trying to imply a whisper, we could do that bubble with a dotted line, almost like it's like a ghost. And then we could have Pretty obvious one, maybe you see this all over the place. An explosion. And then our last one is a bubble connected to a, another bubble. So we would have your first bubble, a line, and then our second bubble, and connecting to whoever is saying it. So this would be talking, talking, but this is a pause. Because when the reader is reading it, they might read like, hi, my name is, pause, Miss Choke. So it helps you have the reader have a pause in their reading of your comic. So that's our first tip doing different bubbles throughout your comic, it will help to make your comic more interesting. To go along with that idea, doing different balloon shapes, not just that, but you could outline it. You could give it a second box around it or a second wavy line around it. Maybe it's a thought that's like making them go silly or even with the ring, 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 we could go around it again. So don't just do what I see you see here. You could add extra things on, add extra colors. Don't just throw away the text box. This is half of the comic is right here. We can't forget about that. Then, go, thinking about that, we also want to think about the words inside or the font and we wanna play with it. So if we have something that's crashing, then maybe we have 
lines like this and it says the word crash inside of a bubble. And maybe this doesn't even have to be in a bubble. Maybe this could be in its own little part. But make up your own fonts. This is just one example. But what does a word make you think of? How would that look? Or if we did, oops, like oh, the ringing like we said, maybe ring would go like this, shaky. Maybe that looks like ring. And maybe if we were to write like somebody laughing, would that look like box letters? Or maybe that would look like bubble letters. And how it's spaced out, because somebody's like, ha, ha. Space them out, play with where they are in your composition. So we have comic bubbles and fonts. What else could be another tip? How you're spacing out your words inside your bubble. So say you're doing a normal text bubble. Let's make this one a little bit bigger. And you're saying, hello. Maybe part of your words are bigger and some are smaller. And how you space it out in here. Are you using the whole space? Are you only putting it in the center? How you're filling your bubble matters too. And remember, do not cross your balloon tails. So if you're gonna have more than one person talking in a panel, don't cross their lines. So if we have somebody here, another box here, And we have a person and another person talking. We don't want their bubbles to go over each other. That will not be easy to read. Remember, you want to read from here to there, here to there. This is how somebody would read. So if we have our people here, we could have one bubble up here and one bubble down here. Okay, this would be read first and this would be red second. Now, if they're kind of both at the same level and you don't have enough space, you could do one bubble here and the other bubble here. This would be red first, this would be red second, but really think about your spacing in your panel. This would be the best way in this situation. So plan out where you put your people when you're having them talk. Now, the last and maybe most important, I don't know, thing to do when you're thinking about your comic book is that the most important parts of your comic need to be the biggest. So I'm going to pretend I'm going to draw a line down the middle. This is my one page. This is a second page. If I was just to map out, because I like to draw my boxes out ahead of time, and I'm kind of making them all the same. I'm not placing importance on any one part of my story. And let's say this box is the most important. Well, then you might want to give it half of a page. And then maybe you just need more pages. And you can go ahead, you could map out all of your comics beforehand. You could think in panel one, I'm going to have a person going on a walk. In panel number two, I'm focusing in on the dog that they're walking. In panel number three, there's a squirrel running across the street. Panel number four, maybe we zoom in on the dog's face. In panel number five, 
the dog is running. So maybe here, our most important part would be them going on a walk. So you can plan out what should be biggest. So there are a few little tips to get you started and help you make some interesting comics. <coughs> <coughs>